Earth is unlike any other planet in our solar system. The diversity of habitats is vast. From the coast of England to the Sahara Desert, the oceans are where life on Earth began millions of years ago. The oceans are still an alien place for us humans. They cover almost 70% of the Earth. We know more what's about what's in space than we do about our own oceans. So far we've only explored about 5% of the oceans on our planet. One of the deepest points of the Pacific Ocean is the Mariana Trench. At its deepest point it's almost 7 miles deep. While many hundreds of people have climbed mountains, only two people have been to the deepest point in the oceans. But with so much more of the oceans to explore, how do we really know if it is the deepest point on the planet? Maybe one day we'll find out. From the lowest point on the planet to the highest, mountains vast in size are as beautiful as they are dangerous. Many a life has been lost in the pursuit of conquering a mountain. The record for the highest altitude in the world probably belongs to Mount Everest, with an altitude of 8,850 metres. Mountains can be a big factor in the creation of deserts. A rain shadow is an area of reduced rainfall behind a mountain area, on the side facing away from the wind. Known as its leeward side of the mountain, evaporated water is carried by the wind towards the drier and hotter inland areas. Hot deserts cover almost 20% of the planet's surface. Hostile barren places, most deserts only get around 10 inches of rain a year. Temperatures range from minus 3.9 to plus 38 degrees centigrade. Deserts are far from dead, the teeming with life. Plants thrive in sandy conditions. The California desert alone has over 2,450 species alone. One place animals have thrived in is forests. Forests hold one of the largest number of plant and animal species on the planet. An estimated 6,700 species of animals and 4,700 species of plants live in forests. That aren't just home to plants and animals. 1.6 billion people depend upon them for their livelihoods and some 50 million tribal people live in or near a forest. Other tribal people live in much colder landscapes. Some 7 million people that have adapted to live in such a landscape. The Arctic is a vast area of ice that covers an ocean that's home to species like whales and polar bears. It's a beautiful place that's under threat from oil and gas development. There's more to the Arctic than just snow and ice. Wetlands, mountains and rivers make for a diverse landscape. Glaciers play a huge part in the landscape as they're the biggest source of fresh water on Earth, storing an estimated 75% of the world's supply of fresh water. While the Arctic might be teeming with life, there's one place on Earth that's almost devoid of any life, except for some microorganisms and algae. The Dead Sea is a strange place located between Israel and Jordan. It contains 10 times the amount of salt than seawater. At an estimate, there's 37 billion tonnes of salt. Because of the quantity of salt and the minerals, it's said to have great hailing qualities. It's also the lowest point on Earth. It has an elevation of 414 metres below sea level. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, press the like button. If you've had any thoughts on the video, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for your time and I'll see you soon.